Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking Megan the Stallion. She is suing YouTuber uh, Milagro Grams, and we've got to talk about it. Uh, so if you don't know, if you're not familiar, uh, Milagro Grams, she has a large YouTube platform, and she was one of the YouTubers who was heavily covering the Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez case and uh, was providing different updates. And over, I want to say like the past week or so, she had been providing updates as Tory Lanez is trying to seek appeal. Well, this just got published 11 minutes ago from Billboard and it says the following. It says, Megan Thee Stallion is suing a YouTuber and social media personality um, who she claims is, quote, a mouthpiece and puppet for Tory Lanez, accusing the woman of, quote, churning out falsehoods about the criminal case stemming from Lane shooting her. In a lawsuit filed Wednesday, attorneys for the rapper Megan Pete accused Milagro Grams, uh, Milagro Elizabeth Cooper, of carrying out a public campaign to denigrate, belittle, insult, and spread false statements about her. That allegedly including Graham sharing a pornographic, quote, deep fake depicting the rapper, a move that Megan's lawyers say violate a Florida statute banning altered sex de um, depictions of real people. Enough is enough, writes Megan's attorneys at the law firm Quinn Emanuel. Miss Pete, a victim of violent crime and a champion of women's rights to her millions of fans worldwide, will no longer stand for defendant's campaign of harassment. The lawsuit is also accusing Grams of cyber stalking, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and an invasion of privacy. In a statement posted to X, formerly Twitter, Grams acknowledged the lawsuit, saying had she had been, quote, informed that I am being sued by Alex Spiro on behalf of his client, Megan the Stallion. After quoting from a threat letter, she said, of course, we'll chat about it. They threw in the tape, too. The new case came days after a high-profile pro false story about Megan and Lane's claiming incorrectly that an appeals court had declared, quote, innocent in the shooting circulated on social media. Spiro, Megan's longtime attorney, warned yesterday he was planning legal action over such nonsense. Lane's uh, day star Peterson was convicted in December 2022 on three felony counts over the violent 2020 incident in which he shot at the feet of Megan during an argument following a pool party at Kylie Jenner's house in Hollywood Hills. In August 2023, he was sentenced to 10 years in prison. He has filed an appeal which remains pending. In the new lawsuit, Megan's attorneys say Grams repeatedly spread falsehoods about the case, including questioning whether she was even shot and claiming that she was, quote, caught, caught trying to deceive the courts. More recently, they say Grams has pushed the outlandish claim that the gun used in the shooting had gone missing. Defendant Cooper's statements recklessly disregarded the truth and suggested that the firearm was never presented in court because it had allegedly disappeared. It has not. Megan's lawyers write the firearm remains in the custody of the Los Angeles Police Department. As for the deep fake video, the lawsuit does not accuse Grams of directly creating or posting the video, but claims that she encouraged her followers to watch it, included by pointing out to users a post that had directly shared the video. Defendant Cooper willfully and maliciously promoted the deep fake video without Miss Pete's consent. Megan's lawyers write, you guys. This is very, very major, you guys. This is huge. Um, you guys, of course, know that I covered when Tasha K had sued uh, Cardi B. And, you know, remember, I think Nicki Minaj has taken legal action against a YouTuber before. Uh, we know that uh, the Carters have been uh, sending out uh, their attorneys to certain YouTubers uh, regarding the Jaguar rights stuff that have larger platforms and everything else. And now we have, you know, Megan the Stallion, uh, who has that same that same attorney. 
is that same attorney, Alex, who was going after the YouTubers um, that had the larger platforms that were promoting the Jaguar right stuff as it pertained to the Carters. Um, here's the thing, you guys. You know, we can all have a difference of opinion, but I think, you know, I think in the case of the Tasha K situation, you, you can't just flat out continue to lie on a celebrity and not have concrete proof and not have concrete receipts. And I feel like in this case, this Tory Lane's Megan Stallion trial, it caused so much division, you guys. In terms of, you know, just the number of people who, you know, were either pro Megan and there were a lot of people who were pro Tory. There's a lot of people who, you know, feel that Tory was set up. There's a lot of people who feel that Tory was not the shooter. People have alleged that, you know, all types of narratives. But the thing is, you know, we ultimately have nothing to go on. And ultimately, like I said in a previous video, if Tory was innocent, why didn't he take the stand? Why didn't he take the stand and tell his side of things? And if there is, you know, the rumored third party that's a part of this, um, has any other involvement, you know, why not clear your name or exonerate yourself? But it's just interesting because like I said, you know, the issue at hand shouldn't be, you know, whatever is going to go on with, um, you know, because Megan Thee Stallion, she's with Rock Nation and they're not playing any games with people. They are not playing any games unless you've got, you know, concrete proof, concrete receipts on stuff. They're going to come after you. Because they're not going to, because especially if you have a large platform where it can be influenced to people to believe what you're saying, uh, these celebrities, they're very much, you know, intentional about what they want their brand and what they want their reputation to represent. And, you know, it, it's interesting because that Tory Lanez, uh, it was presented as if, you know, he was declared innocent and this was just after what happened with the Melendez brothers that they were going to be granted parole immediately. But I think the Tory Lanez thing kind of latched on to it because people thought that, you know, this means that the, uh, you know, court system was allowing certain people, you know, to go free or allowing, you know, this appeal to be approved and all these things. But technically, uh, it had to be, you know, researched and, um, you know, the correct information had to come back out that, you know, essentially the appeal is still in process. And there hasn't been a decision and Tory Lanez hasn't been declared innocent. So it's a very slippery slope, you guys, of, you know, I, I understand, you know, defending some of these people and I understand people are going to have a difference of opinion. People are going to be, you know, there's going to be people, people, whether you see it for some of these celebs or don't, but unless you have concrete receipts, these celebs are going to come after you, you guys. They're going to come after you and they're going to say, hey, you're doing all of this foolishness, um, you know, and I want it to stop. And they're targeting the larger YouTube platforms uh, that are getting, um, you know, very close to or over, you know, hundreds and thousands of subscribers that can influence, you know, over millions of people can go viral on their social medias for Twitter and um, Instagram. So this is going to be very interesting. What do you guys think about this? I remember Malago Grams, like I said, her and, um, you know, I believe it was also Armand Wiggins and um, Nick at Night were like the main YouTubers that I remember that were covering the Tory Lanez and Megan the Stallion case and I remember you know a few times Armand and um, Malagro they would have like their little sit downs and everything else because they were on opposing sides of the case and everything else so I am curious uh, on what Armand thinks about this and I'm also curious ultimately I know Mar Malagro has responded but I'm curious as to, you know, what else she thinks of this, but, um, it is, you know, it's serious out here 
And my thing is this, for those of you who are YouTubers, those of you who are content creators, please protect your channels. Please protect your brand. You know, you've worked hard to build these followings. You've worked hard to build, you know, these platforms and everything else. And yes, celebrity news and gossip is hot. You know, reality TV is hot. All these topics are hot, but without the concrete receipts, there's one you thing of giving your opinion and disagreeing with something and not, you know, believing a certain thing or what have you. But it's a very slippery slope if they can prove that you're just putting out falsehoods and you're just putting out accusations or they can frame it in a way that looks like you're just constantly in on the attack of somebody. And um, it's going to be interesting to see how this case unfolds, you guys. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, there is that. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.